Hi Aquarius, this is your weekly tarot readings by M for the week starting 24th of February 2020. I will draw three cards for you, main energy cause and effect, and then I'm going to pull three clarifiers for it. Okay, let me see. So main energy for you this week. The Empress, beautiful Empress. Cause energy. The chariot card. And the effect is the high priestess. Lovely. Three majors, eh? <laughs> Aquarius, eight of wands. And something sudden came. Or uh, is it uh, that you have to go somewhere? You're flying overseas suddenly? Because the chariot card is dead. It's a travel, perhaps, suddenly. Or it's a situation, as I said always, it just drops in front of you. Here I am, deal with me. <laughs> you see, that kind of uh, energy, just sudden, just heavy, just coming suddenly, surprise. Whoa! What's that? Energy of surprise. <laughs> Eight the Wands. Communication, dealing with people, dealing with different type of situation. As I said, flying overseas, moving, movement by all means. And the chariot card is cause energy of this empress energy in here. So it's all movement, influencing and the cause energy. So just before we get to this empress energy, we've got all this movement, feeling of moving forward, seeing goals in front of you. Competing for these results as well. Competing for it. Knight of Cups, pairing with Empress. Ace of Cups, pairing with Chariot. The High Priestess, pairing with Knight of Swords. Interesting. And the Moon card now here. Mm, now we're changing the mood a little bit with this all Cups and so Aquarius. Okay. Let me see. The moon, something is not, that is not certain. It is, as I said, this is lovely energy. I love eight of wands. I, I'm a person, I love surprises. I love things that happen quickly. I love travel too. So, you know, but you perhaps maybe were not so happy with something surprising you in such a big way. Particularly not seeing all clearly. It doesn't, it doesn't come very clear for you. It's things... This thing seems kind of shady a little bit. Not, definitely is not things for certain in here. Influencing energy, that's all influencing energy. It came up, new situation, big time event. But you're not sure about that. You no, Nothing is clear yet. That's what you said. Then we come into this week and the cause energy for this week for this empress and the knight of cups this is very nice this energy this week is lovely i love this empress i love knight of cups as well this is talking about your emotions being emotional being happy and enjoying it and in an emotional way in a uh, funky light way knight of cups being funky it's musician it's artist uh, um, toasting results and success this is toasting enjoying it this abundance that something sucks there's something tangible comes your way that uh, uh, soon 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 it is already but this uh, uh, empress is pregnant very soon some miracle you're expecting you're toasting it all very emotional all very happy all very artistic this is venus day we're talking art we're talking music we're talking beauty Lovely Aquarius, your week in that regard. But then we've got this chariot with the Ace of Cups. Is it perhaps that you feel offer of love? There was offer of love down there. But the chariot uh, energy in, in that inner relationship sense is a bit tricky one. It can always go in a black and in or white, obviously, it does it. In, in being indecisive, not knowing which way to go, if there is a relationship that we're talking in here. Not being certain, um, having second thoughts about somebody, um, not being sure 
but particularly having second thought <laughs> about about the situation, about partner, about your love, about your feelings, about your feelings, not being certain, maybe yes, maybe not. I'm interior, is the rushes a bit, also very quick movement, it, uh, energy that rushes you forward with and uncertainty is the two sides uh, uh, to, to balance, to, to hold in the road, to focus. And Ace of Cups and feeling very emotional, feeling love. This is offer of love and it's, it, it, it comes from you. It's a Cancerian uh, uh, chariot card. Maybe you've got somebody who's Cancer opposite there of you. That you begin to feel some kind of very beautiful feelings. It's offer of you offering your love there. Now, let me see it in a different light. Now the chariot card is also ultimate winner. And we often talk career here with the chariot. He wanted, he's got down there uh, uh, in a distance, he sees and it's written finished. It's a finishing line, that side, he's seeing it, he rushes there, he wants to be a winner, he's competitive. You understand what I'm saying? This, this feeling of being competitive and wanting to win and wanting to be seen and being rewarded. Movement. Moving to another city, going to another this is another country, but it's okay with this eight of wands. Perhaps we're talking movement. We're talking moving to another, flying, traveling, traveling. Be happy about it. Traveling because of love, because of another person, because of place that you love. But the feelings are very important. You feel beautiful in here. You feel cause energy and even energy this week of Ninth of Cups. You are all uh, um, uh, light and love <laughs> and art and beauty. All of it. All of it. Maybe sudden trip that you have to go. You're very happy about it. You're very happy about it. Makes you so happy. But no effect of this week. It's a bit different. No, it is a bit different. We're talking all emotion. It's a Cancerian card. It's also all emotion. It's home. Both of these home cards. Maybe you have to go home uh, um, if you left some time ago. Now you have to go. You have to travel. You have to see your family and you're looking forward. You're very happy about it. Maybe something like that for some of you. But whatever it is, as I said, this is lovely, lovely energy. The Empress card and Knight of Knight of Cups. It's a this is light and emotional and beautiful energy. You will enjoy it. You will enjoy this week. Now, effect is a bit serious. Effect. I see this the High Priestess. It's always very serious energy. I'm telling you, you never take yourself lightly with this uh, energy. A Knight of Swords is very logical and logic and mind in action. This is conversation, communication, uh, discussing, seeing within yourself. Do you really want it or not? Do you? How do you feel about it? Balancing yourself. That's uncertainty. You have to know something. Still something in here. You have to know. You have to make decision. You have to. This is your thought process. Knight of Swords, a rushing, look at charging forward. Because somehow, for some reason, this high priestess is a, a bit slow energy. Let me tell you, it's a bit slow. It is to understand yourself, to know why is it happening, to and why do I feel this way, why do I act this way, to understand the situation. You have to acquire some more knowledge. You have to understand some input for yourself. So you can be sure with your one that guarantees success and money and everything, but with the time, once you certain with yourself, once you gain your confidence, once you understand yourself, once you really see within yourself, no, this is right for me, or this is not right for me, and then you're certain about it. 
Now that is high priestess energy of high, high priestess. That's what you're searching for. You want to be certain about yourself. If this is the person down there that you have fallen in love and you have to travel somewhere far to see or move with this person somewhere there, you have to now see and be sure. You have to be sure. And it's a logic, logical process, it's an intellectual process, your mind process. Busy, this energy takes time. The high process is a bit static, it's a bit slow energy, but your mind doesn't rest, doesn't, doesn't, doesn't want to rest. It doesn't want to rest. It forces you to think maybe 24-7. It's going to force you to think intensely. It's going to be only thing on your mind. Whatever that is, it is beautiful. I think it's all love in there. All home and love, home and love, all beautiful. Perhaps travel, whatever you're uncertain about, you will find out. It's a very connected. The moon and high priestess are very connected. There is, I believe, this new moon maybe... Uh, on uh, I think 23 on the 23rd just day before anyhow uh, Piscean season coming it's also Pisces uh, uh, energy maybe you're gonna need this uh, during um, end of February and maybe first half of March that will uh, help you to clear the situation but I see your mind your mind is doesn't doesn't rest at all doesn't rest Anyway, uh, besides that, besides that, ah, we all have our doubts, but look at this loving, loving, loving energy. All love is there. All happy love. <laughs> Beautiful. I hope that you're going to enjoy your week.